teacher. Well, hello, Freddy. How are you? I find it. All right, great, great. You ready for your to drive your Lexus today? Ah, uh, your Lexus coupe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin. I don't know if he, I don't know if he sold it already, but when I used to live over there in LA with my cousin, he used to have a a Lexus 250 SI, I think it was the model. Yeah, extra interior or something like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. They have um the chip next to the to the handles. Yeah. Uh, Lexus, right? So when I was talking about that, I could tell that you have been in the United States. I could tell by your accent, right? I could yeah. tell you have you have some uh, American accent with you. So that's why when I was saying that yesterday, I was like, well, I, I can tell, right? A person that has yeah. lived there and, and, and worked there and studied over there, I can tell pretty much who has been and who hasn't been in the U.S. That's why when I was saying that yesterday, I was like shooting, right? Because I was like, I know what you, that's what I was saying, Freddy, you know what I'm talking about, right? My legs yeah. scoop and, and, and <laughs> the monster car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah
for two weeks. The other units are just for five days, right? Unit one, three, and four. So once we finish this um, unit two, then unit three and four are going to be really quick, really quick, because we still have to do the other, the other parts of the, the mix. And with the pricing yesterday, we're going to continue today, but we are also going to do some grammar, right? It's not really hard grammar because it's just relating to enough. But I also added a, a little something extra to the word to, right? And that way you are, you can become familiarized with both, with both vocabulary words. Let me see. Good evening from Jackie. Hello, Jackie. Good evening and welcome. Hello, good evening. Thank you. All right, nice to have you here. And we will do that also, right, with the enough and two, and I have a little worksheet, and then do some activities. And I don't know if I'm going to do some individual activities or or in group. That all depends how how I see the progress. But for the meantime. I'm going to, let me see, going to, where's my PowerPoint? All right. I'm going to get this uh, attendance ready. Let me see. All right. I'm going to do. Has anyone looked at the module? And anybody done any reading on it? Anyone? Any questions on the platform? On the homeworks on the platform? Has anyone done any of them? At least one or two? No? All right. Let me see. We're also going to do that graph that I mentioned yesterday for our products to a high price, low quality, and uh, high price, high quality, low price, low quality. You're going to do that in, in groups um, dealing with pricing, pricing chart. And group activities all right let me do the attendance yeah let's look it up on the computer all right let me get it started here okay abigail abigail okay no answer beatriz Beatriz, okay, no answer. Blanca? I'm pre present, I'm here. Well, okay, thank you. Brenda? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Mm, let me see. Brenda? I'm, I'm here, sorry, teacher. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Carlos? I'm here, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana. Diana. Okay, no answer. Edwin. Good evening, teacher. Present. Ah, okay, thank you. Flor. I'm I'm here. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. All right, great. Freddy's. All right, awesome. Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, all right. Let me see. Thank you. <laughs> it is. Present teacher. All right. Jackie. Hello. I'm Jackie. here. All right. I see you. Jarvin. 
present teacher. Hey, all right, welcome. Let me see Thank Jennifer. You. Jennifer? Okay, no answer. Juan Jose? I am here, teacher. Okay, great. Nice to have you here. All right, let me see. But I don't know for how time because I'm not in my in my home. <laughs> <laughs> in my home I'm not I, I don't have internet. Um, okay. Well, glad you could stay connected as long as possible. Okay. Let me see. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. All right. Yeah. I see you got uh, uh, some music going on right there. Huh? <laughs> is Where, is the this, this, Where is the party? Where is the party? This is my neighbor. Neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie, don't lie. Yeah. Tell me, where is the party? Yeah. <laughs> the 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 bro, I don't like. <laughs> All yes. right. This is my name. Okay. Fabio. Fabio. Okay, not here. Okay, Rolando. Okay, neither is he. And Janari. Janari. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. Okay, Blanca, I like your, your little, what is that? All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me see. Okay, class. Let's go and review some of these things that we have to do today. And I'm going to share screen for the PowerPoint. <clears throat> Let me see. Where is that worksheet? Yeah, this stuff. All right. <clears throat> All right. Let me. This is class number 10. Okay, remember it's 25 total. So this is class number 10. And we're going to, eh, I'm not going to read. Can you read, please, Edwin? Of course, teacher. Um, enough and two pricing chart group activities. Okay. Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. Very good. Very good. Excellent, right? So we're going to look at enough and two. Okay. I added two also. Okay. Remember that they are similar, but they really are opposite. Some people say, okay, but son casi igual. No, they seem that way, but in reality, they are not. Okay. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it, more in depth <clears throat> pertaining to enough and to, and when we use them with adjectives. Right, with adjectives. Now, we will see them with, with nouns. We're going to focus more on enough, but I added this as extra, right? Because enough was just too simple. But I mean, it's muy fácil, right? For, for a group like you, I think you, you, you need a, a little bit more challenge than just enough, all right? Than just the word enough. So I added this. I was so just something extra. And we're going to do a pricing chart. We were looking at that yesterday. We were talking about prices yesterday, right? About product, uh, pricing strategies. So you won't be too lost on the chart when I, when I show it to you. I showed it to you yesterday, but we didn't finish. Okay, so we're going to finish that today. And we're going to do group activities also. And I will add, um, uh, I will add something else. I gotta get a studio worksheet. Plus <clears throat> book. I'm just gonna put book. Book work. All right, this is related to your module, your book. Page, um, I believe it's page 19. We're going to finish that today. And also page, let me see where I have your book. Page 20. We are going to finish today also. Okay, so we are in in alignment with 
the the process that Insafor has assigned. So we are we are in line with that. We're doing great. So we are on point. Como decimos, on point. Let me see. Page 19 and 20 on your module. If you have it there with you, please go to those. If not, I will show it to you here in the computer or on the screen. Right, class. Let's begin. Now, yesterday we did the uh, price strategies, right? Yeah, gave me those presentations yesterday. Very good job with that. And we talked about this the day before about why it's important. And we already saw um, the considerations that companies apply before setting a price standard of a product. We saw that yesterday also, right? Now we're going to look at this page. Is this page 19 of your module? Can you begin, please, Jarvin? It's just reading, Antonio. Antonio and Rene, let me mm -hmm. here in my computer. And here, Antonio and Rene are talking about modifying the production and pricing strategy for the headphones. Read the conversation and take to practicing it. Okay, practicing it. okay. Uh, Jarvin. Right here, yeah. can you repeat this word, please? This one is product. Product. All right, very good. Price strategy, price strategy. Price strategy. Very good, excellent, all right. So they're talking about modifying the product. So here we're talking about a product that is going to be modified. Modified in what product is it? I think they're talking about headphones, right? Headphones, audiphones, right? Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Read, please. Beatriz. Okay, can you activate your microphone, please, Beatriz? The competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? Okay. All right. They are. They are. They are. All right. Now, it says the competition just released. Okay, that means they just launched. That is another word for launch. Very good, Beatrice. Thank you. The competition just released a clone of our headphones, right? So it's like, ah, right? A lot of companies don't like that, right? When a competitor just shoots or launches a new product that is almost identical to theirs, right? And they are attracted enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? Right. Does that happen here in El Salvador? Do we see products that are not the real thing, but they look real? Uh, it's like imitation. <laughs> you, just, you just go to yeah. the central. Yeah. To, to the town it's and possible. everything is an imitation <laughs> all right very good right and look what yes it's, it's similar it's similar right and look what they're saying they are attractive enough enough lo suficiente right or suficientemente attractivos that's what this means okay don't forget about that because when we do the activities you have to understand what does it mean or what does enough mean okay attractive enough enough here comes after the adjective and we're going to see that later okay this is what we what i was mentioning earlier about a little bit of grammar but don't don't worry too much about that right now 
All right, which is going to be reading and analyze. And then he's saying, what do we do? Right? Oh, no, right? What do we do? Can you read, please, um, Brenda? Okay. Um, we could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough. So that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Very good, very good. Excellent, right? So it says we could renew, right? The look, the look, right? The look is referring to appealing to the eye, right? The look of our headphones. Maybe they're too dull, right? Or too simple. So they're trying to renew the look. Un nuevo, como dicen aquí, un nuevo look, right? So let's make them colorful. Oh, no, that... All right, yeah. All right, let's make them colorful enough, right? Colorful, lo suficientemente con bastantes colores, right? Different, colorful, right? Very appealing, so that people can recognize them easily. So they, look, they're thinking, they're brainstorming. Right? They're thinking about, hey, what do, we have to do something, right? We can also try with an advertising campaign. Hmm, that is probably going to be the best option. Let's continue. Maybe, right? Maybe. Let's continue. Let me call on. Um, yeah. Okay. I can do it. Peter. All right, come on. Thank you. Yeah. Re renew. Renewing. Uh, renewing. Renew, renewing, renewing the look and packaging will take months in an advertising camp, campaign, campaign. Campaign. Is too expensive. Campaign is too expensive. Okay, very good, right? So we have the two here, right? El two, remember this, just to be real brief. Muy, muy, okay? Suficientemente, or lo suficiente, enough. Too, muy, right? Expensive, right? Everybody knows what expensive means. The opposite of cheap. All right, let's continue. Um, Miguel. Thank you, uh, Carlos. Okay. The best thing we can do is change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Okay, competitors, competitors. Compar uh, competitors. All right, much better, much better. Okay. All right, very good. Okay. So here we have another one, fast enough. We have an adjective followed by the word enough. It's fast enough, right? to help us counter our competitors' release of products. The best thing we could do is to change our pricing strategy, right? Maybe just change the pricing. What do you think? Do you think that she changed the pricing or new look or advertising campaign? What, what do you think? What would you do? If you had new headphones, let's say these right here, right? And a new product just came out just like these, and it's like, oh man, right? And they're cheaper, right? Or they're they're more attractive. Maybe they have remote control or something. I don't know. What would you do? What would you do? How would you modify? How would you what would be your strategy? Change the brains. Excuse me. Change the price. Okay, change the price. All right, pretty much what they plan to do. Okay. Yes, because for example, for the the Black Friday, as okay. the, the company, the the, the people easily uh, say that the price is low, but I don't know if it's true. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is correct, right? Sometimes what he mentioned is true, right? Sometimes we think that we're getting a deal. When we go buy something on Black Friday, and in reality, it costs more than than few months prior, right? 
So it's always good. I recommend, I do it, right? Yo lo hago, I do it. I recommend that before Black Friday comes and you plan to buy something and you waiting for and you're waiting for that moment to come for Black Friday to buy something. But you already know what you want, but you're waiting. Check the prices before Black Friday. And then you will realize for yourself whether or not you're getting a bargain or not. All right? You're going to say, ah, right? Maybe after Black Friday, right? Because I know the price will come back to where it was at first, and I will probably get a better deal after Black Friday. Right? But most of the time, you do get some good deals, right? I have gotten some good deals on Black Friday. Good TVs, good smart TVs, right? For very low price. But um, any other, any other uh, suggestions? What would you do? Teacher, maybe can the, the change the quality, for example. Okay, change quality. That is another. That is another way to to attract. All right, to attract uh, mm -hmm. the customers. All right, very good. Maybe you upgrade and say ours are waterproof, right? Waterproof. It could you could go on the rain with the headphones, right? Hey, what? Okay, let's go back and buy the product, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good, good, uh, good thinking, Miguel. Yeah, some some mm -hmm. uh, okay. some companies do that, right? It was just like remember when the touch screen came out, the touch screen for the computers. It's like, well, I want touch screens, right? When, when are they gonna come out with some touch screens, like like the phones, right? Like the smartphones where you touch the screen on your computer. Right, but I don't know. Do you like them? Do you like touchscreen? Any of you have a touchscreen? No, I don't. I don't like because it's more expensive, and do you have a, a less uh, memory? Okay. It's. I think that it's better. So in my case, I prefer have a low, uh, a better memory or a better. Uh, a processor better processor 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 and then those screen okay <laughs> yeah that, that's hey i i agree with you i agree with you right i almost got a touch screen but then i thought about it and i said mm, you know sometimes your fingers get sweaty or you, you're eating something or something, you touch the screen and you keep touching and then it gets all blurry, uh, right? It gets all dirty. So I said, no, but it all depends, right? Some people do like them. And some yes, people... only if some people use, use it mm -hmm. or to draw, to draw. If you like to drive, uh, to draw, I, I think that it's better, but depend on the case. Yeah, it depends on the, the way the person uses it right all right let me see i want you to do one two and three in your book your module so we can finish this page and we can move on <clears throat> so i want you to do this in your uh in your book page 19. <laughs> it says can you read the instructions please um it is Okay, um, page one. Look at the conversation and complete the sentence below. Okay, two things. It is sentences with an S. Sentences. All right. Sentences. Pair, pair work. Pair work. Pair, pair work. Okay, much better. Very good, it is Excellent. All right. So you're going to look at the conversation, which is here. And complete the sentences. All you have to do is complete, complete. Okay, one, two, and three, based on the conversation. Okay. When you finish, I want you to send it to me. This is an individual activity. So you can send me the picture of your book 
or if you're doing it on computer, you can do it there. You can send me the picture of the work being finished. And um, remember that it has two spaces. That means you have to put two words, two words, two spaces, two words. Okay. You send it to me. Send it to me. This will be in class activity, basically group work activity, but this is individual, not pair work. Okay, Janari. Okay, very good, Janari, thank you. Okay, Edwin, please, please um, remember the words are here. Okay, Edwin? Edwin, look yes. at la, la palabra ya están aquí, right? So all you have yes. to do is put them here, right? Look at number two, right? All right. Oh, okay, colorful. Okay, Jackie. Rolando. All right, let me see. Quanta persona? How many students do I have right here? Right now. Okay, 18. 18. I got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, thank you, Brenda. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Glenda. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you get que faltan once. Okay, I'm going to take this as activity in class activity. Let me see. Voy a poner nombre. activity number number five individual work okay individual work class activity number five those of you that send it think uh, that already sent it thank you all right two four six eight all right Faltan algunos? Okay. Yes. I have a question. I had to go see something right now, so I missed. Uh, what What do we have to say? The on page nineteen of your book, there are three questions. Oh, okay. Fill in the blanks and then send it to me. 
So I can put you, the people that send the work, I write their names, que terminaron la tarea de clase. This is just in-class activity. Okay, an activity in class. All right. Uh, Blanca, thank you for sending it here on the chat. All right. Thank you, Blanca. Okay, I'll put your name down. Blanca. Porque cuando termine la clase se borra esto. Okay, Blanca, thank you. All right. I already wrote your name down. Thank you. All right, let's continue. And all right, can someone give me the answer for number one? So you read it, please, not just the answer. Just read it. Okay. They are attracted enough to make us lose positioning in the market. In the market. Mm. Okay, right here. To make us lose ground in the market. Lose ground in the market, yeah. All right. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Okay, number two. Um, Brenda. Me, me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Dale. ¿Quién dijo me? Erwin? Yeah, me, Erwin, yes. Okay. okay uh, le, let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. Very good. Excellent. All right. And the last one, Brenda. Okay. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Very good, excellent, very good, excellent. Now let's continue with the next one. Let me see. Do, 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 do. What happened? All right, the next activity. This is going to be the group activity ah, pero no estoy compartiendo. Awesome. all right here we go can you see the screen yes yes i can see yes all right great now before we go to the grammar part and do the enough and two we need to finish this small activity okay this activity i mentioned it to you yesterday but we will finalize it today. This is related to uh, price and quality. We were talking about that yesterday. We were talking about pricing strategies, but this is not so much pricing strategy. This is your own. I'm going to let someone read it, please. Um, Freddy's, can you read it, please? In green right here, in green. The... Okay. Breakout rooms in groups research for products number two and oh, two product two for two products. All right, because I seen number two in parentheses. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it says two two. Okay, for products two and and cata categorize them. Okay, okay. Now you can say it that way, categorize, but. When we use it in fluent in, in in a fluency manner, yeah, we say categorize, yes. categorize. And then according to your pers perspective, then give your explanation. Very good, very good, excellent, right? So you're going to go into breakout rooms here in a little bit, and in groups, I'm going to put you in groups, and then you're going to research. Remember, you, uh, you did a group activity where you were researching pricing strategies, similar, but it's not the same. You're going to do the same analysis, but it's going to be different. We're not looking for pricing strategies, right? You're going to be researching products, only products, two products i put in parentheses two not just one two products and you probably have you will have to probably write this down and categorize them according to your perspective that means according to you not according to henry not according to someone else according to you then give your explanation what do i mean by this a que me refiero all right I think, let me see, is Abigail here? Yes, yeah, she's here. When you say research for two products, it has to be two different products or let's yes, say- Yes, two different products. 
two different products. Two different, two totally different products. Hello, Abigail. I thought it was the same product, but different brands. Mm. Okay, that's a, that's a good one, Fredis. That's a good one. Very good job. You know what? I will allow that. Lo voy a permitir. I will allow it. Okay? So, for example, if you have a phone and then you have another brand of a phone, I, I will accept that. No okay. problem. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Great. That's what I want. Input from everyone. Very good. Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Okay, she doesn't respond. Okay, those of you that were here yesterday, you remember what Abigail said about a laptop that she bought? Does someone remember her story? About uh, the Dell. She bought a Dell laptop, I think. Yes, yes, right. And she paid what? She said six hundred dollars in marketplace. I think she found it. Yeah. So she got. What category will you put there, Freddy's? High price, low quality, high price, high quality, low really price, high, low price, and high quality. Excellent. I stop. Very good. You hit it right on the mark, right? I didn't have to explain it. Right, Freddy's already gave you the answer. Very good, Freddy's. That is the analysis. You saw that? So, yeah. Abigail, she went online. In reality, she did, right? Because she said on Marketplace, right? So this is reality. This was her story. She said that she went on Marketplace and she bought a Dell laptop, SSD, right? Top of the notch, Dell for 600 bucks. So she got a low price. For me, she got a good deal. Right? She had a good deal. Low price, high quality. Okay. Now, there are some things out there that are low in price and they're good quality right some cars right some people say kia is pretty good they're not expensive but they have they're good quality right and and you also have some cars that are just expensive right high price high quality right if you buy even an old toyota here in the south there it's going to cost you over three thousand dollars right or if you go to the united states you can buy a toyota that, for 3,000 here for a thousand over there, right? <laughs> but it's the quality, so people pay for it, right? It's very uh, reliable, right? Here in this country, especially if it's standard. Now, I want you to research, or if you already know of a product, you already have one in mind, right? That's also good you're going to find a high price. You're going to go in groups, okay? So I'm going to put you in groups of four, okay? And I want you to find at least, if you can do two, that would be nice. But if you can't, if you can only do one or find one, that's, that's okay also. But I was recommending two to make you research more. To challenge you more but if you can't that's fine i'm okay with one what you're going to do is find a product that is high in price but low quality right find something that that you you bought for a high price right high price low quality right and then find two products that are high price high quality. This is your perspective. Remember, your perspective, not mine, right? To you might be high, to me might be low, but it's your perception. So find two products like this, and then you explain why. Why you think that they're high price, but they're high product quality. Just explain, right? And then find two products that are low price and low quality. I can tell you one that I bought the other day was low price and low quality, right? In about two weeks, they broke. The little clips that you put for bags, for chips, 
because I like to eat like Doritos, I like to eat uh, Lay's, potato chips, popcorn. I like to eat all that, right? And so I go to sleep late, right? So I like to do the work at night, get on here, so we look video on you to do all that. It takes time. So I, sometimes I rely on that chip. So I bought those clips at dollar, a dollar, a dollar store, right? But I don't think I have but one out of the box, out of the, the little package. It was like 10 for a dollar 50. No, man. <laughs> I think I have, well, I had to go buy some new ones, some bigger ones, some heavy duty ones for like 250, right? But low price, low quality. Low price, high quality. How many of us have bought something that, hey, estaba barato, pero mira, cinco años llevo con esto, right? Right? And it's still working, right? It's still working. Low price, high quality. I'm pretty sure you can you can think of some or you already have some in mind. But if you need to go online and research, you can. I'm going to put you in groups of four. So you can divide however you want. Or you can alternate. You can tell your classmate, you know what? Uh, I can do one for low price, low quality. And I would like to do one high price, high quality, and then we switch, okay? However you decide as the group. Or you can decide to do two low price, low quality, or two low price, high quality. Any questions of the activity instructions? Freddy has already asked for, uh, something earlier, which is a good, very good question. Anyone else have a question or a doubt that you would like to share? No? No, it's clear, teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. All right. Uh, let me see. Okay, Juan Jose, I see your, your activity here also. Let me put your name, Juan Jose. Okay, Juan Jose, thank you for the activity. All right, let me see. And then I want to hear, I want to hear your, your product, your product, what you have to say. So I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Let me see what time is it. If you want to take a picture of this, you can. Right? Maybe you, if you forget, or I will send it to, to the group also. Let me see. All right. All right, there it is. In case you need to share it or ask each other questions, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Now there's going to be two, four, two, four. Hmm. Okay, there it is. Ready? One, two, three. All right, join group work. After this, we do grammar. Hello, Yanari. Blanca, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, but I love connection and you know, I have okay. a, a group. Okay. 
There. Did you get the... My internet is really bad here, teacher. Okay. I sent you the... the entrance for breakout rooms. I don't know if you got it. Hello, Janari. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay. Eh, pude... Le sale la solicitud, Janari. Oh, no. Pero, eh, yeah, you're supposed to be in group one. So I'm going to put you in another group and then take you out and put you in room number one, okay? Lisa, I can hear you well. Mm. Okay. I can hear you good. block mega block for example they have they have low price and low quality uh, yes 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 mm, not necessarily high price and low quality the first uh, the first uh, Hello, Blanca. Hello. Okay. My computer turned off <laughs> suddenly and I have to change to my phone. Okay, I'm going to put you in room number one, okay? Okay, thank you.
in a store where there is a, a dollar store, like the teacher says, and you can find a product, a brand, brand but it's, a, it, it's depend of your look and the product can be really good. And you, you, you have for a long time. Some product, some product. Yes, yeah, some product. Yeah, yeah. It depends your look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because uh, sometimes you buy some product there. Uh, it's cheaper, but the time that that product um, keep to work is in, is short. <laughs> All right. How's everything? Everything good? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Y'all already did two products for each one. Almost. Almost finished. All right. All right. Continue. You're doing great. Continue. Bye bye. Oh my God. Did I again? Can you hear me? I don't know what happened with my internet. Here is very, very bad. Okay, did you get the la solicitud? Did you get it to enter breakout rooms? And low quarter. Yeah, that's that's true. Mm -hmm. And what do you girls say it's about low price, low price and high quality? Low in price in clothes. Cardan. clothes. Pierre no. Cardan. Ah, okay. Okay. Pierre Cardan. Pierre Cardan. Do you think Pierre Cardin has low prices? 
Yes, for <laughs> compare with other brands. They yeah, have, true. They have uh, some. Uh, nice. Sometimes it's low. Sometimes it's low prices. Especially when they have promotion, right? Mm -hmm. I, I like the clothes from there. I, I normally buy the shirts from them. Me like too. all the long sleeve shirts. Uh, the long sleeve shirts I buy there. They're, they have good quality. I don't know. You can wash them a lot of times and they last a long time. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, continue. Um, we have cars low price and high quality. Yeah, it is. It depends of your economy. You will buy the cars that you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is. I think that we yes, talk. So. Yeah, I don't know. Can you give a specific car? For example, high price. Car? Mm -hmm. High price, high quality, BMW. Okay. Yeah. For example, low price, low quality, and uh, the cars is, is that is imported from the United States with a crash. Okay. Yeah. You can right. repair. You can repair the car, but you don't know if and you you obtain the car with a low price, but you don't know the quality. Okay. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is possible. And and you can obtain a car low price and high quality when some people want to to travel another country and want to to uh, obtain money and they sell the the cars a low price and with a high quality. This is a uh example. Yeah, good effort. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> great. That's great. That's great. That I, that I think. Yeah, but I, I don't know if it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good if you can if you can if you can give your analysis in an example. That's great. This is what the activity is about. Remember, your perception is your perspective, right? Yeah. So, in, in your perception, that idea is all I need. Is all I need, which is good, which is good, excellent, right? Remember, try to do two for each block. Two yeah. low quality, high price, two low quality, low quality, two high quality, high price, two uh, high price, I mean, uh, high quality, low price, right? So, serían como ocho en total, eight in total, and two of each, two of each. But if you can't do two of each, maybe you can do one of one of the others, right? But uh, I'm not sure. We have to, to, to tell an example, two examples, two products for high price, high quality. Yes. And compare both. No, not compare. No. It's just two different scenarios. Ah. Different scenarios, right? Because remember I asked you in groups, you were going to do this activity, right? So one person can decide to do two for one and you do two for another. And then Glenda does two for another and Francisco does two for another. You can okay. alternate or you can switch. For example, you can do one here, one low quality, low price, or and one high price, one high quality. Y el otro puede hacer una y una de cada uno también. Right? Okay. But in okay. total is eight. Remember, I asked for two. Two. Okay. Pero dos de cada categoría. Two of each category. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> if we if we talk to uh, about cars, but we we can talk about anything. Yes, yeah, anything. Yeah. It's it's open for you to search or experience anything oh. that you would like to. You can talk about cars. You can talk about computers, phones, uh, uh what TVs, whatever. Right. Okay. Whatever you feel, something that you have bought at Dollar City that you felt that. You paid a really low price and the quality was good, or you paid a, a low price and the quality was bad. Ahí decidan ustedes, right? Okay, oh. eh, 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 excuse me, in this case, but okay. For example, 
if we if we talk a high price and high quality i can think to be mw yes. and and another another brand another brand yes a but in, in this category yes in this category ah, right category. Two, okay two per category okay okay i okay. understand thank okay. you thank you no problem hello Freddy. Uh, we want us well we actually want you to let us share screen we have to do a presentation <laughs> oh, okay all right <laughs> what happened okay okay i will do it let me leave You okay. abandon us. Okay. <laughs> and you get mute. Oh, you know what? I'm on mute. I'm talking to myself, right? You see? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah. All right. Good looking out. All right. Um, all right. Yeah. Pretty good right here. Furniture, clothing, TV. Door. Okay. So you put in three. All right. Very good. We get the inspired. <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem, right? <laughs> so you're pretty much finished, right? Some people were doing two products, and I was like, no, it's two per, two for each, right? That's why it was in groups. Uh -huh. Or each one of you could do one and then, or share the word. Some people were telling me, yeah, ya tenemos las dos de lista, and I was like, two? No. <laughs> 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 Two for high price, low quality, two high high, two low high. All right. Very good. Very good. So you ready? Yeah. So maybe about two more minutes. Let the rest finish. And then we'll go back. Maybe you can practice or decide who is going to, to, to speak. Remember, try to be brief, okay? Try to be brief. This is just mm -hmm. to get you uh, better prepared with the vocabulary. All right. All right. Maybe about two more minutes, and we'll go back. Um, I don't know. Quality. Yeah. I said low price and high quality. Okay. Right. okay. We have about maybe one more minute and then we go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, teacher. Right. Uh, uh, and now low price and low quality, two examples. Yes. What do you yes. think about that, Juan Jose? Are you agree with Arvin? Yes, yes, but that uh, suddenly in, uh, for example, uh, when you are studying, uh, if you know the topic, it's easy. But when you don't know um, really well the topic, you don't know the word, the correctly word <laughs> for to explain. Yes. Yes, coordinate your mind, your brain, or with your mouth is a little bit difficult, I think. <laughs> Yes, because you have you have the idea, you have the idea, but it's difficult to just to talk to, to express yourself, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. That that's why these activities are pertain to that that ability or 
that idea to to let it out, right? To just let it out and express yourself. This gives you the, those abilities, these types of activities for you to speak. And remember that these topics, I understand that they're not like regular topics, right? These are not the average topics, right? But since these are designed for specific work purposes, English para el trabajo, right? So yes. this is this this is a high caliber English. This is not just the regular English, right? Those are the differences. So I'm I'm glad that y'all are here, right? Because a lot of people, you know, they would they would want an opportunity like this, but they just don't do it, right? But you have the opportunity, you're taking advantage of it, right? You're taking advantage of it and that's that's a positive thing, right? So remember you have to advance in everything and you're doing a great job and speaking at the end is probably the hardest but once you overcome that obstacle you're going to be like free <laughs> you're going to yes. be free because you're able to speak and conversate in a fluency manner right so yep. remember it's all about practice and vocabulary practice and okay keep speaking and keep working no matter how many mistakes you make, right? It took me a lot of mistakes to speak properly. So it's not easy, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> so continue, you're doing a great dedication. Remember, it's all about dedication and commitment. Commitment, right? I've met many people, I've met many people for years that they're like, yeah, teacher. And then they start, but they never finish. They never yes. finish. Yes. I know that. I, I, I had experience about that. <laughs> so it's like, wow, some people never recover. Never. They go, oh. they, they end like that. They never recover. They're like, yeah, el otro año, el otro año. Right? Before you know it, it's 10 years, 15 years. And they're like, hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Todavía sí. All right. But it's like, you know, I'm happy for you. I really admire your dedication and commitment. Créamelo. Right? I really admire your commitment. For two two hours a day, I admire that. So thank you. So we're going okay. back to the main session. Okay. I hope okay, you're ready. Thank you. Yes, you ready? Marvin is ready, teacher. To okay, great. The presentation. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we're coming back here to the main session. And I'm pretty sure you're ready to express yourself and give your your analysis or your input pertaining to the four points that I gave you on the chart, which was low, low, high, 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 low, and low, high, right? So you ready? Group number one is uh, Beatriz, Blanca, Jarvin, and Juan Jose. Remember, try to be brief so everyone can uh, can finish and we can do the next activity. Okay? So it's okay. Real brief. Okay, who's going to go first? Okay, me, teacher. Okay. He's, he's happy to participate, teacher. Okay, Jarvis, let's go. You're the first one. <laughs> Express yourself. Okay, teacher. We were talking about a lot of things in this point and this topic because we have uh, many ideas about it and we have a different experience with the product for example in high price high quality we are talking about clothes and we are talking about the levis brand and uh, this is a good brand for clothes for jeans specifically and i think anyone have problem with this brand for example uh, juan jose was talking about one experience with you are building a house and we are working with two different factory of block and with Saltex block uh, was a, they have a, a high price, but the quality is amazing. Juan Jose say that. And for example, in high price and low quality, he says Mega Block are uh, a factory that had a high price, but the quality 
is not enough and you are and you are looking the best because you are building your house and you need the best this is the reason why you are paying a lot of money for that the another company that we choose for this category is uh, samsung maybe you can you remember when samsung sold the in the market the samsung no nope, i don't remember is the six or the five that they have a problem and the the no nope explode <laughs> they yeah. have a, a high price yeah it was yeah. yes all right they have they have they have a, a high price but they have a low quality you already know samsung is the is a famous company and they have a lot of good products too okay right. with with low price and with low price and low quality we are agree when you pay uh, as the low money for one product you always going to have a, a, a bad quality and and that product for example here in salvador we says the chinese product because all the the chinese product are have sorry have a a, a cheap price and the quality is not enough that you are looking for your need okay in the great. last one in the in the low price and high quality we we, we were talking about hyundai car because the hyundai car is a famous a famous brand but the quality and your products are high and the price is low you can you can follow the 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 i don't know who say in english repuestos okay <laughs> whatever, extra parts extra whatever. parts right yes you can find whatever you want and the another new brand that we are talking about in this category low price and high quality was the xiaomi company they sell a, a new cell phone and they have low price and high quality okay very good all right very good excellent just uh i just want to give you a little other uh, it's called levi's 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 mm -hmm. is the brand name that's how you will pronounce it levi's and remember that when you talk about possessive adjectives you use your product is their products their products okay Los productos de ellos, okay, right? okay their products and you say something about repuestos are you talking about car parts right you were talking about yes. car parts all right the repuesto is called spare oh, car. spare parts okay? refractions spare refraction. parts all right spare Re parts refraction spare. is not correct teacher which one refractions mm, probably not all right right you can say replacement parts or extra parts but the proper word is called spare parts okay okay thank you all right that's how i would uh i would write it like this spare parts i'm going to write it for those spare parts all right spare yeah, parts. for example in, in the factory that i work i, I work uh, when they will buy some spare parts uh, in the box say square part yes like para repuestos right in case one breaks yes that's that's so common yeah this is the most technical word Esta es la palabra más técnica, spare parts all right this is the one that i know all right maybe you can say replacements right but spare parts is more technical all right, just to give you some vocabulary. All right, now, um, thank you, Jarvin. Very good, very good. Excellent, well done. And group number two, it was Brenda, Carlos, Freddy, and Miguel. Okay, teacher, um, in this case, I, I will tell you about the, the, the topic. Uh, we're talking about different uh, products in, in we put uh, in high 
price, high quality, uh, to brand. For example, Toyota is the the car. Um, all people um, in El Salvador or around the world uh, uh, says Toyota is the best because uh, uh, there are in different parts in El Salvador. Um, uh, uh, pair, pair parts uh, you can find, and okay. uh, another another brand uh, we put is uh, Mat Computers. Uh, they ha they have high price, but he, his uh, quality is high because is the technology is the best uh, in this moment very good for for low price um, and high quality uh, we choose uh, for example cell phone uh, and huawei huawei is uh, a good cell phone you can find in different uh, store and the price is relative low uh, than the other uh, brand, for example, I iPhone, uh, Samsung, and the quality is is very good. And another brand uh, which is uh, Payless, Payless shoes is the the company shoes. Uh, you can find different uh, um, how do you say uh, stilos uh, styles. Styles. styles of a style of shoes styles and the price is low but the quality is high uh, it's high quality and another brand uh, we put a uh, kia car relative the price is low and the, the high quality it's too um and low price low quality um we're talking about the Chinese products. Um in if you go to the San Salvador, you can find different Chinese store. And the the price is low, very low, but the quality is low too. Um for the highest price, low quality, uh, we put a TV, a smart TV. The the brand is uh, Dura Brand. Um, another mm, brand uh, we choose uh, is, for example, Sanjo, and there are many brands about the high price and low quality. Okay. Um, another another thing um, is the clothing. For example, in in Brenda told told them um, in Simang, uh, there are many clothing, the price, the high price, and the low quality. For example, this is a uh, we're talking about in our group. Okay. Well, thank you, thank you, Miguel. Very good. Very good. All right. Remember that when you are, when you said Brenda told them, is really Brenda told us, right? Brenda told us, 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 us. Oh, us, okay. told us. Mm -hmm. Yes, object, okay. object pronoun, object pronoun, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now, the, uh, the, the other thing, very good on the you use the word relative is relatively all right relativamente mm -hmm. right relative mm -hmm. all right Re okay all right so very good on everything else very good excellent presentation very good uh very good uh analysis excellent next group is francisco glenda and rolando very good job very well done okay um, I will talk about to high price and low price. Uh, we talk for 
high price. We think in clots, clots. Sometimes we found fine uh, clots with high price, but with, but uh, low quality. Yeah, it's the same situation with makeup. Yeah, uh, some the girls normally <laughs> buy makeup uh, with a high price and low quality. And and food too. For example, go green. Go green, the price are expensive. <laughs> go but green. The, the quality for me is not, it's not good. Yeah, this is my experience. Yes. Yeah, um, low price and low quality. For example, Chinese spar parts for, for cars. Uh, cell phones, the, the mango brand. This is a low, pa low price and low quality. Glenda, you're next. Good evening. Okay, thank you, Rolando. You're welcome. All right. Remember that, uh, just one second. Rolando, remember that when you introduce your your uh, your presentation right here or your your expression about your analysis, when you say, I will talk to about, you have to use an opt, all right? I have to talk, to, I will talk to you or you can omit to and just say, I will talk about. You do not need to put two, all right, unless you're going to use uh, an object or a subject, all right, in this case to you, but you didn't use it, so you can omit two, okay? And the way you pronounce the parts is spare, spare, spare parts. All right, very good, Rolando, excellent. Good job. Next one, yes, Glenda? going to talk about the high price and high quality. Uh, the, the products, for example, we have uh, the car brands. In the case, the car brands, we have BMW mm -hmm. and Audi. And we think <laughs> that these two marks or these, these two brands are high quality uh, in your product. The price so are so expensive, and the quality uh, we we our perception is high quality. We we don't have any product yet this brand, but we we think okay. that maybe the situation. Uh, another example we have. Um, for example, the, the, the service in the restaurant. And for example, the restaurant Alcahutla and La Fisheria, <laughs> they they have a service of food, sea foods exquisites. And they have a fresh product and the quality, the savors, and the product and the diverse dishes um, they as they have a different hello hello okay i didn't yeah. hear you anymore so i don't know if you finished or not you finished <laughs> so yes like, i'm finished oh, okay great all right <laughs> I was like, okay, I couldn't hear you anymore, right? Pensé que se había cortado, all right? All right, no problem, right? Me, me right. too, I was thinking. I was thinking like, okay, all right, okay. Thank you, Glenda. Remember that when you're talking about, you cannot say your product. You have to say their product, okay? Their product. Okay, okay. Glenda? All right, very good, excellent. The next group? is going to be, or someone else? Yes. Francisco. Yes, teacher. Francisco? Yes, I would group? like, yes, in the same. Mm -hmm. Rolando and, and Glenda. Okay. I would like to share my experience with uh, Juan, for example, for low price, high quality. 
Uh, five years ago, I, I buy a farm. Uh, the brands is a kawaki. Mm -hmm. It's like that. I do not remember what is the, the, the correct name, the brands. But the actually the the fan the fan is working, but the price is low. Uh, between the, the the other brand, for example, General Electric is a good brand, but the price is very high. Okay. But in this case, the the, the, the farm that I have is the, the price is low, the quality is, is good, good quality. Okay. High quality. My opinion. Okay, yes. Remember, this is your perspective, right? Your perspective. So everything you say is based on your perception, and I accept it as is. Okay. okay. All right, Francisco, is that it? Yes, finished? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great, yes. thank you. Now remember, Francisco, when you talk about the past, you cannot use a present simple verb, okay? And when you said, five years ago, I buy a phone. I bought a phone, okay? I bought a phone, simple past mm -hmm. verb. Yes. Okay, good job, good job, Francisco, excellent. Just that observation. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. Okay, yeah, last. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Right, thank you. And last group, which was Abigail, Edwin, Edith, and Jackie. The last group. Okay, teacher. Um, for the first category, in high price and low quality, and we. We choose the Avon product and LG product. And for Avon product, uh, Edwin told us his experience about Avon. Uh, he bought he bought an umbrella, and the first time that the the need used the umbrella, he uh, it broke in her hands and it was ten dollars and for 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 us is high price because no it, the the quality is very low in this case okay and Jacqueline okay it is Yes. It, whenever you use it, you remember, do you do not, it broke, it broke, okay? Mm -hmm. It, you do not have to say it's, okay? it broke, se quebró, right? It broke. It broke. It, broke. it was, it was. Oh. You cannot pronounce it's, was, it's totally, it, it's inappropriate. It was, okay? It is, but thank you. Very good. Excellent. Next one. Okay, and to talk about high price and high quality, we have a, a, a good example uh, about a famous uh, sneakers, night shoes, to be um, exactly, more exactly. Yes, night shoes, Nike shoes, sorry. Nike, Nike yes, shoes. Nike. <laughs> Nike shoes. <laughs> Nike shoes, as you know, is a good brand of shoes. Uh, they may be cost uh, from 80 or $100 and more. It depends about the style in the store where you buy it. Also the country, right? But you have, but you know, if you have a pair of, you get a pair of Nike shoes, you will have shoes for long. <laughs> It, uh, it, it was one of the examples of the products. Another one was um, Apple products. They have a high price, but you get a high quality. Thank you. 
Next oh, one. All right, great, great. Okay, good evening to everyone. As Jackie says, uh, she, she chose the uh, Nike shoes, but actually for low price and low quality, we choose uh, adult shoes because, uh, I mean, long time ago, uh, years ago, actually, uh, those those kind of shoes were was one of the better, on the one of the best shoes on on the um, uh, for sales, you know, or for customers. But nowadays, they have a uh, very bad shoes in in a very low prices. And the and the quality is very low too, so uh, the we we and my partners we were talking about that and uh, we think the adult shoes has low prices and a low quality. Thank you. All right, all right, very good, very good. All right, next one. Is that it finished. I'm next. Okay. Okay. Easy? Well, for the category low price and high quality, we choose um, Pierre Cardin clothing. We think that it is a good brand and the prices are, are good because in my experience, also I, I think it is a good quality. They have good quality because in my experience, I I bought a black pant, black jeans, uh, two years ago, and I have the I I still have the the jean, and the color is is good. The color uh, hasn't changed. Uh, even I I often wear the the, the jeans. And the color remain. I think that's why it is a good brand. Also, another example is Xiaomi devices. Xiaomi devices uh, have low price and high quality because you can find a different a, a smartphone with good, very, very good features. And the prices are really, are really good, are really low compared to other brands and compared to other devices. You can find uh, a smartphones with different uh, capacity and velocity and uh, CPU uh, with a very good price. And the, the the time that lasts these these devices are really good. All right. The same feature. Okay, great, great job. All right, good job, good job. Um Abigail, I'm going to give you a better word. I'm going to give you a better okay. word. Okay. You didn't say it incorrect, you said hasn't changed, you said, right? The color yes. hasn't changed. This is what you said, right? But I'm giving you, I'm going to give you a more technical word. Hasn't faded, faded. Cuando ya no okay. se le, cuando faded. No, exactly, right? Destinado. I don't know how you say it in Spanish. Destinado. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. All right. So this is hasn't faded. That is a more uh, better word, better vocabulary. Faded. Faded. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good, right? This is also related to car paint, right? or anything related to color, color, all right. Okay, class, very good, very good. Excellent work. This was the last group activity. Now we're going to do some, uh, oh man, I forgot to do the attendance. Okay, I'm going to do the attendance real quick. All right, Abigail? Present. Okay, thank you, Beatriz. Beatriz. Okay, is she, okay, she's connecting back, all right. Uh, Blanca? Present. Okay, thank you, Brenda. 
I'm here. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Carlos, all right. Diana? Yeah, I'm here, teacher. All right, Diana? All right. Edwin? Present. Okay, thank you. Flor? Francisco? Present, teacher. Thank you, Freddy's. I'm here. All right, thank you, Glenda. Present. All right, thank you, Iris. Present. All right, Jackie. Okay, Jarvin. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Juan Jose. All right, Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Roberto? All right. I mean, Fabio, he, he didn't come today. All right. Uh, Rolando? I'm here. All right. Thank you. And hey, Janari? All right. I can hear you. Okay, Beatriz, I know you were connected. I'm here. Yes, I, I'm here. I can okay. connect again. All right, no problem. I got you, Beatriz. I saw you connect. All right, I put you present. All right, let me see. Let's continue with the... Uh, a little bit here. Teacher, I'm still here. Yes, Jackie. Yes. Thank I got you, Jackie. I put you present, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, let's look at this. This is basically related to page um, 20, where we're talking about enough with adjectives, right? With adjectives. This is very simple. And don't worry, we probably won't finish, but we'll, we can start tomorrow at the beginning of class and go straight to it. But first, I want you to look at this. This is just something extra that I put right here. Enough, right? Enough. Pero quizás... Okay, let's look at enough, right? Suficientemente, lo, lo suficiente, right? Now, enough, can you read here, Beatriz? Sufficient or as much as required. Mm -hmm. Next part. A correct number or amount. Very good. That's what it means. Enough means it's the correct number or amount or sufficient, suficiente, or suficientemente, right? Or as much as required. In other words, ni tanto ni menos, right? Suficient, enough, all right? I want you to get that clear because we're going to look at two, the word two also. It's a little bit different, okay? When we use the word enough, enough with an adjective all right janari yeah but he got balloons coming your way right? <laughs> all right so all right i see you're having fun that's great right that's great so we have the adjective plus enough all right remember adjective plus enough so an adjective comes first right can you continue, please, uh, Beatriz? <laughs> okay. Are you old enough to bow? Very good. Exercise was easy enough for them to complete? The exercise. The exercise was easy enough for them to complete. Very good. The exercise was easy enough. So if you notice here, the adjective comes first. First, okay, the adjective comes first, then the word enough, right? In Spanish, we do the opposite. So be careful, all right? Be careful with adjectives when we are, because when you're thinking in Spanish, you're like, oh, si, suficientemente fácil, viejo, nuevo, right? No, in English, we put the adjective first, then the word enough. All right. Look it's at like, these. It's like a qualificative adjective. Pretty much, yes. All right. But remember that this, yes, it is. It is. It is. It's a qualified. 
So let's look at the examples. Okay, go ahead and read. Who was speaking right now? Was it, uh, who was it? Edwin, who was I'm, it? I'm, I'm Carlos. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, can you read? Can you start reading, please? Adjective yes. plus enough. Adjective plus enough. As we have been announced, appears after an adjective. Let's let's see some example sentence. The coffee not is hot not, enough. Is not. Is the not. coffee is not the coffee the coffee is not hot enough. Very good, very good. Hot enough, right? No lo suficiente mente caliente, right? It's not the coffee is not hot enough. Remember, we can also use negatives. All right, we can use negative. Thank you. Continue, Jarvin. I can't. I can hear the music. It's not loud enough. All right. It's not loud enough. Not loud enough. Continue, please, Brenda. Okay. Which one, teacher? Yes, the, the he wasn't. Okay. He wasn't experienced enough for the job. Okay, very good. He wasn't experienced enough for the enough. job. Very good. So as you can see, we have the adjectives here and the word enough. Continue, please, Freddy's. Yeah, that would, well, would be the, the next one, right? The room, yes. All right, that's the one that said this means. No. Okay. The room is like it's large enough for all the students. All right. The room is large enough, right? Remember, I gave you the definition of enough, so you should know what it means. And you already know what large, right? The room is large enough for all the students. So it's actually big enough for everybody to fit, right? And remember, yeah. enough is used in a positive way, but it's also used in a negative way here where we say, uh, where we say here, it's not hot enough. Okay, that means it's not sufficient or the the temperature is not enough. Now, can someone give me an example using enough? I want to hear you. Okay, now I give you this. I want to see how much you can articulate the word enough in a sentence, your sentence. Using an adjective, then enough. You can use it in a positive way or in a negative way, but it has to be sufficient. For example, you can say the, the soda is, is not cool enough. The what? Excuse me? The soda, the, the soda okay. is, not, is not cool enough. All right, very good. Cold, cold, cold enough. Cold, very cold, good. Cold. Very good. Excellent. Brenda, can you give me an example? Beatriz, can you give me an example? Um, she's not old enough to start studying English. Okay. All right, very good, right? Very good. She might be too young, right? Might be two years old, right? She's or one yes. year or six months, <laughs> right? All right. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay. okay. Uh, he is tall enough to play basketball. Very good. Yeah, he is a positive way, right? Very good. He's tall enough, right? Seven foot. <laughs> a seven footer, como decimos, right? Shaquille O'Neal or something, right? All right. Uh, Francisco, very good. Good example. Is correct to say, I do not have enough money? Okay. Yes, you can say that, but you're using enough and then the noun. Okay, that was the noun, enough money. All right, we're going to see that also. So don't worry, you're not incorrect using enough, but you're not using an adjective. I want you to use an adjective. You didn't use the adjective. That was the only mistake, but the the sentence is correct, Francisco, but you're okay. using you're using enough plus noun. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to show you all that. Don't worry about it, but you're correct. I'm going to show you enough plus a verb, right? I'm going, this is adjective plus enough. Okay. Okay, so can you give me one with an adjective? Uh, whatever adjective. Yes, you, this is your own question. I want to see how well you can perform using enough. The car is not enough faster. Mm, ¿Dónde está el adjetivo? Where is the adjective, Francisco? It has to come before enough. Mm. Well, they see the car is not fast enough. The car is not fast, fast. enough. Very good. All right. Uh, you can say that way, right? All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Let me okay. See. Thank you. All right. Remember the adjective, then enough. Adjective, then enough. Okay. Excellent. Because someone teacher, else. Yes. Teacher, I I can say uh, that will be enough. Mm, you using the verb. Be. I want it. Yes. I want an mm -hmm. adjective, and I, that's a correct sentence. It's correct, mm -hmm. but. Let's use adjectives. Mm -hmm. Only adjectives. Only adjectives. Only adjectives. Okay. For this, mm -hmm. for this subject. Adjective okay. plus enough. Teacher. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can I say he is enough, he is rich enough to take his his dreaming vacation? He is, what is the adjective? Rich enough. To okay. take dreaming vacation. Yeah. All right. Rich is the adjective there. Very good. Yes, that is correct. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now this is the this is the grammar structure. You have to use the adjective before enough to make this appropriate. To make this an appropriate gram grammatical structure. So can someone Thank else you. give me another one? Teacher. Mm -hmm. I say the kitchen is not is not enough crunchy. Donde está el adjetivo? Antes de enough. Where is the adjective before enough? Me lo puede decir? The kitchen is not enough. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo antes de enough? Mm -hmm. Not, not no es un adjetivo. So what? Teacher. Not is not an adjective. Mm. It's a negation. Oh, yeah. So you have to use an adjective. Okay. Yes, teacher. So teacher. in the case yes. of, of teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. She's telling that the chicken is not enough crunchy. You say that right. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not, uh, I don't know if I'm wrong. So if, okay. if that were the thing, it would be like a uh, the chicken is crunchy, is not crunchy enough. Yes. Like that would it be. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So you okay. have to use the, so I'm trying, that's why I'm trying to ask everyone to participate so I can see, so I can analyze. All right. Now, Jessica, I mean, Janari, right? Your yes. sentence was needed to be restructurized okay so i was trying to get you to put the adjective before uh -huh. all right yeah yes yeah. yes yeah, teacher all right so brenda can you give the example again so janari can hear you okay the chicken is mm -hmm. not crunchy enough yes right if you put it the other way, Yanari, es como que lo estamos diciendo de forma de español. Uh -huh. right? All right? Yes. But in English, it's the yes. opposite. Yes. That you switch. Teacher. All right? Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Can I see, for example, never could be smart enough? Okay, that's a phrase. That's never a phrase. Could, that's a phrase. Could be smart enough. Okay, can you put a subject? Can you put a subject? So be complete sentence. Smart is you, the, the adjective. No, I think. can you put a subject? Le puede poner un sujeto. 
Can you put uh, a subject? Bro. We. Ah, okay. We, very, uh, yes. Example. Yes. Yeah. We never could be smart enough. Ah, very good. Excellent. Yes. Smart enough. Excellent. Good example, okay. right? We never could be. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Teacher, uh, me. Yes, Rolando. Uh, there are enough problems in the world. Okay. The, repeat it again, please. There are enough problems in the world. There are. ¿Dónde está el adjetivo, Rolando? There are. No, enough. are. No, are. Viene adjective and then enough. Are is not an adjective. So this is a verb. Exactamente. Mm -hmm. Now the sentence is correct. Don't get me wrong, but you're not using it in this format. Uh, okay. Right. Your sentence is correct, but it's not. Mm -hmm. You're not using the format here. Adjective plus enough. Okay. 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 I will. Okay. I will. I will try. Okay. Go ahead. Edwin? Let me. Teacher. Oh. Yes. Can I say, uh, Chivo Wallet is not stable enough? Yes, that is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Very good. That is perfect. With an adjective, Teacher, then enough. Could you, could you tell me if my example is correct? Okay. Or incorrect. My sister is intelligent enough to win the math contest. Is intelligent? Yes, that is correct. You use the adjective intelligent in here. All right, very good. Edwin. Okay. Uh, the file wasn't large enough to the players to make a good game. All right, very good. So the players can make it. All right, very good. Large enough. That's their, yes. Adjective. That's the reason they lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Excuses. All right, let me, let me get sure. Yes. These apple are enough for the trip. Not. Mm, no, apple no es eh, un adjetivo. Es un noun. It's an mm. object. I need an adjective. Okay. An adjective. Now, that is correct sentence. The sentence is correct, right? But you have to put a plural. The apple, right? Apples are. But you're not using, you're not giving me an adjective, right? You're not giving me an adjective, that, uh, uh, an adjective. You're not providing me one. So maybe you can try again and give me an adjective plus enough. And don't worry, we're, we have a lot of practice for you tomorrow. Ooh, I have a lot of practice for you tomorrow, right? For the majority of you that are gonna be here. Right, as you can see, for tomorrow, I have this. Can you see it? <clears throat> yes? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, yes, teacher. we're going to do these activities tomorrow and using two and enough, some of the differences, okay? All right, and then a verb, Plus enough, if we have time, I know I have to teach you the noun, pero yo le voy a enseñar más que el noun. I'm going to teach you the verb plus enough and the noun with enough also. All right? I'm going to teach you more than the module asked for. So be ready for tomorrow. If you want to learn this tomorrow, don't miss class. All right? Because I'm going to give a whole, at the beginning of the class, a whole class about this. Okay? So be ready. We're going to do the activities. Okay, class. Um, final attendance, Abigail. Present. Okay, thank you, Beatriz. Present. All right, uh, Blanca. I'm here. Okay, Brenda. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, Diana. Okay, she didn't enter today. All right, Edwin. Present. Okay, thank you. Flor. Okay, Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Freddy's. 
I'm your teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda? Present. All right, thank you. Iris? Present. Thank you. Jarvin? Jarvin? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. All right. Juan Jose? Okay. Miguel? I'm here. All right. Roberto? I mean, Fabio? Not here. Okay. Didn't end. Rolando? I'm here. All right. Janari? I'm here. All right, great. Okay, class. The one that the teacher, things... you didn't mention me. Okay, Jackie. Jackie. Hello, Jackie. He's absent. <laughs> okay. All right. She's absent. The other way, can not take class here, all right? <laughs> no, she's here. I can stop. I got you, Jackie. I'll put you down. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Thank you. Okay, Freddy's. You stay today for the extra 10 minutes. Okay, class, be ready for tomorrow. And Rolando, you're going to be the first one tomorrow. I want to hear a sentence with the adjective plus enough. All right? All right. Okay, teacher. All right. All right. Okay, okay. No hey, good problem. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Have a great good night, day, sir. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye, Brenda. Bye, Brenda. Bye, Brenda. Bye, bye. <laughs> Bye bye, friend. <laughs> so malo. Have a good night. <laughs> All right. All right. Good night. Good night. Tiene buen gusto, chamaco. All right. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, Freddy's. Hello. All right. I like your background, man. Yeah. LA, right? From East yeah, LA, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Uh. You even got Foot Locker back there. <laughs> All right, let me see. All right, these are your 10 minutes that you that you get. And um, anything that you want to talk about or conversation, pronunciation, or any... Actually, I had a question about the platform. Okay. Remember, you were helping me out. Uh -huh. Number four, it says the marketing department hasn't I I try with has hasn't create enough interest. Eh, boy, much me wrong. So I have to use any other word instead of enough. Okay, you're talking about number four. Yes, I send you a, a picture. Yes, please. Let me see what 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 you got. I really did. I send it to you through through WhatsApp. Oh, okay, let me see it right here. All right, let me see number. Four. Or let me look at it. Let me look at the picture. Is it still the area? Which one? One eleven. One eleven. Two eleven. Ah, two. It's two eleven, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. It's number four. <clears throat> so what, what did you put? The marketing department hasn't? Hasn't create enough interest. Mm -hmm. no. uh, create? The marketing department hasn't create? I think you have to change that. Hasn't created to make create. it an adjective. Oh, OK. So that's what I was missing. Yes, hasn't created, right? Well, actually, it might, it might be wrong. Hasn't created enough interest. I will do yeah. it right now. And then you put a period at the end, right? El puntito al final. Yeah, it's still much me wrong. Mm. Did you put ed? I will. Can you type it to see? Lo puedes yeah. escribir aquí en el chat. Ya. Yeah. Sí. 
It's number four, right? I will copy and paste how I did it on the, let's see. If not, I can send it to you and then you, um, let me see, I have it here and I can send it to you on WhatsApp. And then you let me know. Let's see. All right. Let me know if you can just paste it. I'll send it to you right there. Okay. Let me see. All of them delete. Yes. So, yeah, that's how I wrote it. I'm going to copy and paste. Let me see. Maybe there will be an space that I'm missing. Copy. Let's see where is it at. Only H. C -D. Now it must be right. <laughs> and that's how I wrote it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it, 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 it finally needs, it needs me there, right? Like, ah, lo mando Henry. Huh? I better correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right. So you're good now, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Great. That's awesome. Remember, if you have any doubts on the platform, you can feel free to contact me and let me know. All right. That's great oh. because some, some saying the last teacher that we had, and I asked them like a couple of times, or, or, or let, let's say like a doubt that I had, and it's, it's sometimes he responded, sometimes he didn't. So I see that you you always respond when uh, I ask. Um, I That's have. Good. I have a lot of discipline with my teaching. So I'm very responsible, right? I have, yeah, I can be a little strict, right? But those are just with rules. But as far as teaching, I'm open. I'm open-minded. Well, open actually, the, the rules makes, makes it like more interesting because if there wasn't rules, like anyone could do anything they want and we won't be able to learn anything. Yeah, everybody be like, ah, ah, ah right it'll be chaos right no order right but i try to maintain a cool and in in a communicative group right now that's how i am i, I know that sometimes I, I tell you what from my experience the majority of times when i begin they look yeah. at me they, they say man he's i think he's too strict or something right they have that i have that look right it's like no, Sam, we said it. but then when as I evolve, I'll be like, man, teacher, you know what? I thought about you like that. They tell me, right? And then at the end, they'd be like, man, you know what? You were a great teacher. We miss you, right? And I have I have students like that, that they contact me later, and they're like, créame que ya no es igual, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, okay, you see, right? Sometimes yeah. you, don't, you don't know what you have until you, you, you lose it, right? <laughs> it says, people let them go with the first impression. Yeah, right? So it's like they say, don't judge a book, a book by its cover, right? Yeah. So you see, that's, that's how I perceive, I am perceived sometimes, right? But I understand, right? I understand, but that's just the way I am. But hey, when, when I evolve and I get to communicate with people, They'd be like, hey, you know what? He, you know, it's como yo pensaba, right? <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, I'm, I'm very responsible though, right? I'm never late to classes. 
as, you know, this is my job, so I have to be here on time, right? So you will never see me like come 10 minutes later and everybody's like, the teacher ni entrado, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? So I'm always, I always try to be home at least one hour before the class because I don't want to be like them calling me, uh, Henry, you, why were you late to, because they yeah. see, they know, they know when I connect. Everything is registered, right? <laughs> so, it can happen the way home. Yeah, so I don't want, you know, but I like to teach and I got my education. I got my, my degrees, not just here, but in the United States. And right. I have lived in both, both countries, right? And also been to Costa Rica. But I want to show and teach people what I have learned, right? I I actually, I, I study in the U.S. from sixth grade to to high school, so I don't know. Ninth grade? Ninth grade? Actually, to 10th? 11. 11? Yeah. Well, actually, I don't know what happened to me. I think, like, uh, just because I've been a long time, so I kind of, like, forgot some stuff. It's like around 15 years they haven't practiced English, so... You still have the accent. Do you still have that that little bit of accent, that uh, U.S. accent, right? That I can yeah. tell, right? So you probably like a teacher, yeah, yeah, sorry, right? But I, I knew it, right? That's why I was telling you earlier that I felt, you know, from my instinct, from my teaching experience, I can tell who has been to the United States or who has studied in the United States and learned some English over there versus the ones that are learning here. I can distinguish between the two. And I'm pretty sure that some people like yourself, you can probably tell also that I haven't learned the English here, but I have learned it outside, right? Yeah, I've seen it on a lot of teachers. I have like some persons that they're, well, have, actually it's, a, it's an ankle. He's an English teacher right here on the Salvador, but he learned it right here on the Salvador. So it's not the same teaching as in the USA. Exactly different. Well, we you you understand. You already know the standards of education are totally different over there than they are here, right? Here's like uno pasa y pasa, right? Over there, no, you can you can actually fail, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, there's no mercy, right? If you fail, you fail. I remember yeah. when I started school over there at sixth grade. There was no Spanish in the grade. So. Yeah, exactly, right? So it's, and if there was Spanish, it was minimal, right? It was minimal. A few words here and there, right? Yeah, that's how it is, right? That's how it is. Depends where you're at. But um, yeah, it's always great. And I'm glad uh, you're here, Freddy's. And I'm glad to be part in your, in your growing process to acquire more English language, right? You already have the basic fundamentals and the intermediate level. It's just to practice and get more vocabulary, get more technical words to evolve in the English language. And I guarantee you that a lot of people want this opportunity, right? But you already have it and take advantage of it, right? Take advantage of these scholarships that Insafor provides because they have a great ethical uh, curriculum to present as an English uh, program, English para el trabajo, right? So I'm glad you're here and continue, Freddy's. And remember, don't stop, continue, continue to grow with these scholarships. And there are many other scholarships that you can attend also that Insofort provides, right? Yeah, that's what I was, I was seeing that. And well, actually I had a message from, from English Incorporativo that they say that next day we, they will be showing us um, I think it was PowerPoint and programming computer, something like that. Yeah, they have different uh, technical classes also. So glad you could join us. You can join me here for your extra time, Freddy's. And, and if there are any more questions, have a good night. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow, Freddy's. Great. We'll see you tomorrow, too. All right. You take care, bro. Take care. All right. Yeah. Good night. Good night.